Hello, join us on this episode of Turbo Shed where we make engine mountings and we sort out power steering pipes to get the turbo manifolds in. Well here's looking down our manifold, we've taken the radiator off for access um, and everything looks good except for one small snag and that's if we look right down into here the Lexus has an enormous engine mounting as standard and we're not going to be able to get three and a half inch pipe down through there so we need to make a new engine mount which isn't such a big job and um, so we'll take this one off, we'll make up the mock-up parts, weld it up in situ and that should give us plenty of room to get the uh, the dump pipe out down there. Here's our engine mounting parts. So this is a plate that will go on the engine in place of the aluminium casting. Um, I've made this U-shackle nice and heavy um, and I'll make a polyurethane bush to go inside it. I just don't have any polyurethane at the moment, that's on order. Um, and a nice thick wall tube here and we've got this tube with a fish mouth. So all we do is simply weld that onto there. We'll cut it at the appropriate angle um, to fit the engine, weld it onto that plate. That's our engine mount. So next job is to take this mount off the engine, set the engine in the right place and go for this. Well, here's the standard Lexus mount. You can see how big that is and it's probably a good job we took this to bits because it's broken. Um, that wouldn't have helped things, would it? So anyway, it's not going to be broken in a minute because we're going to replace all of this with this and a bit of plate. So next job is we'll bolt this to the subframe um, using the original mounting hole that this went through. We'll bolt the plate to the engine and we'll just make this tube fit between them. Tack it up, weld it up, job done. So I hope you can see that there. So there's our engine mounting bolted through the original hole on the cross member and there's our mounting plate on the block. So all we're going to do now is make this tube go between those two and we have a nice small engine mounting. Here's our engine mounting in position. You can see the tube we've made. So let's get that tacked up, take it off, weld it up. Um, and that's the engine mounting done and then we can try and get the dump pipe out of this gap that we've got now. It's coming together. Here we are, here's our engine mounting. So it's just a flat plate, the tube and the round one here. I've got a metal bush for now, um, which I was using to set this up. Um, obviously we'll change that to polyurethane whenever my polyurethane arrives and we can machine them up. Well, now our engine mountings are done now. So this is uh, the engine mounting left hand side. So that goes on the subframe through the standard engine mounting hole. This is the plate that goes on the engine. Um, I used this dummy steel piece to set everything up and get it central when we were welding it. Um, but what I've done is I just bought some polyurethane bar and I've made a couple of top hat bushes. So we'll press those into here. And to support the centre of the top hat, um, I just made up a couple of spacers. Um, so these, obviously that's going to sit in the centre of there with the top hat bush. And the bolt will go through the centre of there. And this is a real nice fit into the bracket here. It does go in. There we are. Um, bolt through there and that's going to keep our engine in the right place and having done this one and realized it's come out quite well uh, I think I'm actually going to make one for the other side as well because belt and braces if I've got the engine located exactly where I want it it's less chance of moving around um, and breaking exhausts and things and also the other one I'm guessing is probably broken so let's take it off and have a look when we press this together There we are, you can see our bobbins and plates there, it all looks good. Let's fit it. So we're working on the right hand side now and if we look down in here you'll see that we've got rid of the standard engine mount because as with all the rest of the Lexus engine mounts, we've got it here, um, it was broken. So we've got our nice engine mounting in here now and that's all done, that's all secure. Uh, the next problem we've got is that if we look at the power steering system, our exhaust manifold is going to exit right where these pipes are. And Lexus have an absolutely crazy system for power steering pipes. And there's an old heap of spaghetti and pipes and all these flexi stuff. So next job before we put the manifold in is we've got to reroute all those power steering pipes and get them out of the way. Um, it'd be good to get rid of them actually. So that's it, and these two pipes here will keep 
um, and we'll use those for um, the oil cooler. Here's our standard bunch of pipes and let's have a look see what we've got here. Right, this is the high pressure pipe. And you can see what a disaster that is. Um, the other one's for the cooler. Uh, we use the brass cooler, but we're going to change that. Um, and this is the low pressure side. Um, so let's make some new pipe routes. We'll try and use the same unions and such like that we had before. Um, but we'll obviously make them so they fit where we want to put them. Here's our power steering pipes. Um, so they just come straight up from the steering rack and um, they're nice and neat and high up. Uh, this bit of copper pipe here is only temporary because I'm going to reroute that to use for the power steering cooler but I can't put that in until we've got the intercooler in but at least with that pipe in there I can make sure everything else works okay. So that's that done. Uh, the last job on this side now is I've just taken this pulley off you might notice. Uh, I've got to try the manifold on and make sure I can actually get the manifold in and out and the clearance to this chassis leg is correct. And if it is, let's get welding. Well, we hope you've watched this one. It's only a short video. So there's our engine mount and our power steering pipes all moved, ready to put the manifolds in. So join us next time when we make the dump pipe and the exhaust for the car. And we're one step closer to turbo shed.